Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kamara Ram, a veteran and a coach and a mentor for transitioning veteran. And I thank uh, the Value Network for giving me this opportunity to host a talk with a very special guest today that we have, Wing Commander Satyam Kuswa. Now, just let me give a brief introduction about him. And he's an ex-NDA. Right, 88 to 90th, he's an ex-fighter pilot, had more than 1,000 hours of accident-free flying, and he's got expertise in GIS-enabled mission planning and satellite image analysis. He also had a stint with uh, National Security Council Secretariat and also with Ministry of Road and Transport, and he has represented India at United Nations Geospatial Committee. He's also the founding director of Indian Space Association, and he is a budding entrepreneur as well. Okay, so he has founded a deep tech uh, company that's called Cytel Alpha India Private Limited, and he is also a founding member of Chanakya. Yes, Chanakya Dialogue Foundation, CDF. It's a basically non-profit organization for strengthening the national building efforts. So with a huge round of applause, please help me welcome Wing Commander Satyam Kushwa for this talk. Thank you. So just one correction. It is Chakra Dialogue Foundations, not Chanakya. Oh, sorry. Chakra. <laughs> My bad. It's a Chakra Dialogue Foundation, CDF. Okay. So let's have a small conversation with him. And uh, just for the information of all the audience, after the talk is over, the forum will be open for having a question and answer session with him. Right. So in the meantime, you could also list down your questions in the chat box, chat box or you have it yourself. And uh, you can ask those questions at the end after we finish uh, the talk. So uh, let me come back uh, uh, to Satyam. Now, Satyam, you know, for the benefit of the audience, can you just provide a brief overview, right, of your professional background and your expertise in various uh, you know, dimensions? That is, national security, infrastructure, entrepreneurship, defense, and geospatial. I mean, so many diverse sector. So can you just walk us through that? Thank you, sir, for giving me this uh, great opportunity to interact with all of you. I see that from my former instructor to uh, the people who are junior to me, all are present here. So uh, I am humbled to be here. And I only hope that I do justice. And it will be a learning experience for me, too, when I interact with all of you, because I feel that I will die as a student only, not as an expert. Firstly, sir, thank you for your uh, very uh, sweet introduction. I, If I have to be very brief, sir, I have had a very wide spectrum and diverse, uh, say, career opportunities in my life. I can only say that whatever came my way, I always try to find opportunity into it rather than trying to say that this is not my job and I'm not going to do it. So as all, I started as a fighter pilot. Losing a year in NDA was a setback, uh, but I suppose that taught me a lot of things. And the most important things that it taught me was resilience. That come what may, despite whatever be the condition, if one has to become a pilot, then one has to bear it, whatever it is. So it started with that and started as a fighter pilot, very young in service, just about one year, Cargill happened and I was an adjutant. So that itself gave me a very deep insight into handling men and managing multiple crises that were happening locally at that time. So from there, uh, besides being a fighter pilot, then uh, Dakuna sir, Francis Dakuna sir, I don't know how many people know him, but he's one of the finest entrepreneurs that I've met, a person who thinks in multiple dimensions, and he designed uh, the Wisnav system and the ICATS and later the ACAT system for the Air Force, which was into mission planning. So that had a very uh, inspiring impact on me. And whenever I was doing anything or I was free, I was to always think in those dimensions. 
and the opportunity came sooner than later when uh, i got to use it when i came to the jaguar fleet so from mig 21s i came to the jaguars and from there i had a i was involved in a very sad accident where i lost two of my buddies in the in the in the formation so that was a transforming point in my life because i chose value system over being a yes man and at, at least at that time i knew that i need to have a new approach to my life and and stand up sometimes you need to do it in service so uh, with that approach then from ambala i landed up in gorakhpur so gorakhpur then had a spinal uh, problem again where and i lost strength in my right hand after a sortie and that was a setback but then i was quick to recover i was sent to command uh, central command so there then i was exposed to uh, the command operations so that was the time when dakuna sir's systems were being inducted so i did a lot of work on that understood the technology and that helped me set up the uh, central air command's catch paw so that was a huge experience and as luck would have it within one year of that i got very inspired to get into imaging image analysis so i came to delhi and i had a very bad road accident i managed to survive my leg was in eight pieces and i was bedridden so i came back so then i asked for work from home so i have done work from home under those conditions so that is the time then i got the opportunity to plan for the cobra wing of air force we can discuss it offline sometime what it is but it is basically uh, integration of a few air bases and how they work in the aggressor and defender mode so from there i got interested in again imaging after i completed that work and i came to delhi for to dive back so there i got into space based surveillance where i designed new technology new approaches to detect tunnels and predict the alignment of tunnels so it was a independent research because nobody was really interested in it in that time but when i came out with the outcomes they were uh, liked by the system i got to awards for my work and that work then took me to the national security council so in the national security council i had to evangelize geospatial technologies so that is the time then i did a whole of india study on where we are geospatially and uh, so i got the opportunity to set up a lab where global and national intelligence was merged and given as a decision support to the leadership at pmo nsa and external affairs and from there i did i wrote a paper which went up till the nsa and nsa briefed the pm and then we got the clearance to bring geospatial reforms in the country so that is the time then i became a policy maker so i initiated work on india's national geospatial policy which finally saw light in december 2022 when the cabinet approved it but at that time when i started there was a lot of questions on my integrity and why i was trying to get into somebody else's job because people were not ready to look beyond their nose and uh, so that was there i restructured survey of india i started the national mapping program and then i took india to united nations after two years of effort and had the honor of representing there did a lot of work to checkmate china on certain aspects there and from there then i was involved in something called a nash some important project i can't name it here then i also handled some very important projects of national importance and uh, then something very dear to me that i started that time was enhancing the youth employability through applied scaling of npc so i got a lot of organizational support at that time but unfortunately the moment i left then i could not pursue it as the system didn't pursue it rather so then i landed up in ministry of road transport where i knew nothing about it other than paying tolls but that was a great opportunity and i was kind of the the secretary there and the addition secretary and all were kind and uh, they gave me the opportunity to design a transition plan for the road transport ministry geospatial transition plan so I, that was my first contract the plan was accepted that is how then i joined as a chief geospatial officer the first chief geospatial officer for the ministry of road transport with joint secretary privileges so that was again a game changer and then i came out with a lot of recommendations some of which have been implemented and some are seeing the light of the day now i served there for about 2 years and then uh, for whatever reasons 
I left that job and in my contract allowed me to do my own startup. So my, my remunerations were put there in the ministry. So that allowed me to afford a opening of a startup that time. So I started my startup, which was basically inspired because I used to see a lot of leakage of information. And I found that the platforms that we use in public domain are leaky. And I wanted to create an alternate platform which uh, secured our communication. So it started that way. And the moment I re resigned from Ministry of Road Transport, then uh, uh, in, in the same month, in fact, the Prime Minister had undertaken a VC with a lot of young uh, entrepreneurs from space who wanted the voice to be heard. So he directed for the creation of an association which would hear the space industry, rather who, which will be the voice of the space industry. So then uh, General Bhatt, who was a former PGMO and co-commander 16 Co. So he was interested by that job, for that job by the NSA that time. And then he found me and then we together then raised the Indian Space Association. It took us about six, seven months. So Prime Minister then finally launched us on the 21st of October, sorry, 11th of October, 2021. We started with initially about eight, nine members. Today we are about 70 nine members we have the largest holding of the space in indian space in uh, india in uh, you can say indian startups and indian industry in that organization and uh, we've been associated with all kinds of policy reforms in the country from the inception since 2021 and uh, you may have heard about the defense space challenges that the prime minister had inaugurated so it is the one and only unique effort ever put in by the MOD in the space sector. And I had the honor of kickstart being part of the team that got it kickstarted from MOD and then hand holding it through the process. So God was kind. So as of today, I continue to work in the Indian Space Association as well as my startup. As for my other uh, not-for-profit effort, uh, it started again during the NSES time when I wanted to bring the voice of the public and the academia and the industry into make doing reforms you know in policy making so it started with that way so i created initially a group called kranti it stands for knowledge resources analytics networks technology innovation integration so it started with about uh, the first group was uh, the geospatial group rather and i used to take out the chats from there remove the names and then put it in the system and bring out the in fact uh, uh, we used to call people to NSES, the people who used to cry the most. And that is how we actually st started the reform without victimizing people. And over a period of time now, it has 119 groups on nation building, covering 63 verticals, which include uh, important affairs on technology, uh, national security, education, social responsibilities, uh, parenting, new technology, disasters. I mean, it includes everything that you can think of in your real life. And through that group effort only, uh, I was connected to save the district of Ernakulam on the 31st of July, 2017, where we saved lakhs of lives by giving the right input at the right time to the Southern Naval Command. During COVID, we saved about 3,500 lives all over the country, free of cost, between SPO2 25 to 50. That was a critical mass there, end to end, looking after our people, free of cost. And we've been doing this emergency response for the last eight years. So every day on an average, we end up saving three, four lives, blood, hospital admissions, everything. So now, so post COVID, then a lot of people got after me to convert this into an actionable body because a lot of people were ready to, almost 81 NRI families were saved. So. So everybody wanted to pump in money ranging between one lakh to five lakh dollars. But uh, I didn't accept anything. Seva and Beva doesn't mix well. So we didn't do anything on that. But yes, it did definitely give me lessons that how we need to convert it into a national body. So that's how I created the Chakra Dialogues Foundation so that I can uh, now do focused, actionable work on nation building. So that's somehow my you can say the professional journey 
ओके थैंक यू सत्यम फॉर शेयरिंग दैट आई थिंक जो मुझे लगता है यू नो इट हैड नॉट बीन अ वेरी इजी जर्नी फॉर यू क्वाइट इंस्पायरिंग दो बट लॉट ऑफ सेटबैक्स एंड लॉट ऑफ अचीवमेंट्स आई थिंक एनडीए में एक साल लूज आउट होना प्लस यू नो सम अनटुअर्ड इंसिडेंट इन द एयर फोर्स देन मीटिंग एक्सीडेंट रोड एक्सीडेंट एज यू मेंशन राइट इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल दिस सेटबैक्स यू गॉट इनटू सो मेनी डिफरेंट एंड डाइवर्स सेक्टर्स बीइंग अ एंटरप्रेन्योर and you mentioned about those covid uh, experience where actually you saved uh, so many lives being a part of uh, ngo i mean uh, it doesn't come so easy right so i'm sure uh, you know your journey in the armed forces would have somewhere been an instrument right uh, for you either to prepare mentally or psychologically for this kind of diverse uh, career that you are into now uh, matlab sab kuch ho aap right so can you just throw some light on actually how did your armed forces journey help you with some skills that was actually required you uh, to be in this particular uh, phase of life so my sir dna was og by design because <laughs> my my father was in the infantry so after the 71 war uh, he he was in four guards and then he went to bangalore so i was born in bangalore sir and uh, from the very beginning my dad gave me a very i would say a very strict upbringing uh, not in the other sense but he always taught me how to earn a privilege rather than being feeling entitled to doing something right like there were no bhaiyas for us we had to do everything we had to walk rather than taking a gaadi so all those kind of things so i think and uh, i spent a lot of my life in northeast in jnk started my education in jnk ended in jnk 11 first class and 12th class both in jnk so uh, i stayed a lot in the green areas in northeast and then very actively with the troops ate with them walked with them even as an officer used to call me on leave and send me on a patrol <laughs> in heat in rajasthan and i lived with them so i had a very grounded upbringing i would say so that was first thing that i learned was that never carry an ego you know be humble in life so that's what my father always taught me second thing i think i what i learned which we have in the air force the honor code is having a strong value system so connect on value systems not on business business will come automatically if your value system is around and that is applicable in every kind of relationship that you build third thing was thinking about nation first i think my nana was also a freedom fighter so a farmer blood military blood and a freedom fighting blood all thing in grain so i think the orientation was that way mother was a phd in sanskrit so that academic philosophical and spiritual things also flowed from there then coming in service i think uh, the ability to think in multiple dimensions multitask and uh, you know especially as youngsters you know pack up scam happen at very imaginable times so many people i used to find was to get disgusted but i never got disgusted out of it i always found a way to use that time and especially being in the jaguar fleet many of you who may have understanding of that would understand that it requires a lot of resilience and patience to mental resilience to be there so i think uh, these things were very very helpful similarly looking for perfection meticulousness because aviation by design you need to be very meticulous you need to plan everything you have to do contingency planning you need to have to have stand by to a stand by you need to also look for plan b plan c that kind of stuff uh, think ahead come back in time you know for example you start for a tot and a landing time whatever it is so you start behind and see two days back what you need to do so so those things were very firmly ingrained in the ecosystem uh, i mean that that i lived in and uh, uh, secondly uh, camaraderie and spiritary corps what you call crew room culture especially in mig 21s it was a very very well knit team as youngsters so all these things you know that bhaichara that you have standing up for someone looking after your men so all these combination of things i think they carried me through uh, and india mein to sab pledge lete hain choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong but i have actually implemented it in life i have faced consequences of it but i have no regrets it only made my determination stronger 
to stand up and do what i felt was morally and technically right i would say so i desire devised a very interesting acronym i don't know whether you may find it slightly humorous but i designed an acronym called lpg assist so lpg was legally politically grammatically correct and assist was sundar sasta tigao or smart sustainable and technologically correct so if you follow this approach you will not go wrong so i mean this was my own way of dealing with things as and when i waded through the rough waves and it has helped me so that's how i think it went with me okay so now we know where actually satyam is coming from and uh, you know you mentioned freedom fighter plus father so the blue sky the camaraderie i think everything has actually played some role in your life right and i really resonate with that particular thing where you said uh, you know value if you create value for people then revenue or customer or client will definitely come to you i think aapko jo acronym tha mujhe usse nda ki ltgs yaad aa gayi right okay nda ltgs yaad aa gaya so okay so uh, let me ask you another question because you know considering we almost about uh, 55 people here now you have achieved uh, so much in life right uh, in terms of whether your entrepreneurial journey or is a professional journey if you have to list few of them you know what would you consider as your achievement till now you know and uh, any major le- lessons that you want to share with our audience with respect to that so i think first one happened after i lost my ceo in on 28th of jan 2003 so i did the committee of adjustment for him and at that time the policy in the air force was that fighter pilots families used to get 60% of the last paid drawn for for 7 years and it became 30% after that so that was something which i thought was not adequate so that is the time i got my first adverse in life by the way so i so i went right up till the army at quarters understood how they did it and then i brought it to the air force so i went started going up the channel and everybody said these are the rules and nothing can be done about it and i would compliment air marshal mahadik because i walked up to him and i explained the logic to him that why if you know because when command mukhopadhyay my ceo he had a son i said if tomorrow you are spending 40 crores on disha and motivating people to join the air force and here is a fighter pilots family if you can't retain him to join the air force after his father's death then what are you spending this money on and he he said you come tomorrow and i he spoke to the chief that time and i am grateful to the leadership that they saw value in what i have said and then because i was a young flight lieutenant i had no clue mere ko to utna bhi nahi pata tha ki apna leave kitni authorized hai because jc goes bhi nahi kiya tha tab tak air force mein generally fighter pilots ko admin aspects ke bare mein zyada pata nahi hota hai so that was one landmark case so i won't say that i did the thing but i was good to trigger that change and finally that policy changed in the air force where it has now become i think last paid round under some conditions so i think that was something uh, i got wrongly handled for that but i have no regrets because i think what's important is that uh, you should take care of you you can set precedences even at a personal loss for the larger good i think that is very important one has to be having the spine to to get into that zone the second major was just one year later when my boss died so when my buddies died two of my youngsters died in the crash and there was a lot of pressure on me to change the outcome in certain manner of the inquiry and i stood my ground despite the highest levels pushing me on that i face consequences of it again no regrets it changed my life because my son was born premature a lot of things happened i faced the consequences of, on my son for the last 10 years but so be it uh, value system is important i can't die every day facing myself in the mirror lying over to death so that was the second major change i don't know how many people Uh, understood it, but I am sure those who understood it will value that, because 
you know it's easy to say uh, you know look after you know chetwood says that you know look after the welfare of the menu command first before your own welfare so uh, i was very i'm still very driven by that agenda so for me that is more important uh the third thing that i was able to do was uh my way in which i designed the analysis of tunnels i think that was something very very important next setting up of the cobra wing the groundwork for that uh, that was again very inspiring and i thank air komodo cobra uh, chopra sir and thereafter uh, the present chief he was my boss for that opportunity at that time then i would say moving to national security council and the ability to bring the reforms in the country and being able to set a technical facility in a area where everybody used to think that only papers need to be written there so from a time when nobody used a map after that a certain stage came where every paper had to have an analytics and a map made by my lab so i think that was a major you know ability to think specially in x y z t and c that means lat long elevation time and the context i think that is what i brought into the system in national security council and then uh, doing the geospatial reforms in the road transport ministry i think that was very very important because a lot of things that you are seeing now are recommendations from that time like gps based tolling which is going to come and uh, gati shakti the original concept was designed here where it was designed as a geo ai platform where all kind of dprs would be conceptualized designed analyzed productionized and monitored and even if other ministries had to bring they could put their designs on top so that uh, you could cut leakages understand design problems and uh, you know bring more transparency so it was a very transparency oriented sadly for whatever reasons internal to the road transport ministry i'll not get into that they could not go ahead with it but this idea was shared at many places so gati shakti has a lot of similarities in that then after i think uh, my own startup after zoom crashed we made india's i don't know worlds but india's first quantum secure video conference that was deployed in in a place i was the first india's contract from the defense and the government on quantum and uh, thereafter many things happened but i think we we were the front runners our approach so i may not have been very successful commercially because it's a deep tech sector and procurement and those issues are very very uh, complex but at least having thought in that direction and having de designed and deployed it despite five of my team members and me myself being in icu and i was on my deathbed that time but we still delivered on time i think that was what was important the commitment of the team and i didn't have very high funda iit team i had children who were ex servicemen's kids whom i trained and upgraded so because i took them for their value system so i think that was very important hum log bahut bolte hain welfare karna chahiye karna chahiye to maine actual mein kiya hua uske baad mein and thereafter i think the defense space challenges the raising of ispa itself was something which was very inspiring and a great learning experience for me and getting the defense space challenges you know convincing the defsec i'm grateful to him dr ajay kumar that time that he heard us and he saw value in it and thereafter making it happen because it is india's largest ever defense space innovation program generally this sector is ruled by defense sorry the drdo and isro but having created a pipeline where the commercial space industry could get into it and it's about 1.6 billion dollar program where your capital uh, procurement is just 3 to 4000 crores that is the amount which is left after all your revenues so under these circumstances when there is no money allocated to have it created and it happened in a month period of 6 months which is again very path breaking so here i would like to credit all the people who have been associated with us it's not about me it's about the entire ecosystem that work the people from the mod the services the defense space agency everybody worked together as a team and that is what is important and that is what i have learned in life that 
if team india decides to deliver it can deliver and it's a live example what is done in 173 weeks was short change and done in 10 weeks time as part of dap procedures never before has it happened i don't know whether it will happen again but and that is where the credit goes to everybody who has been part of that so something on this lines and now it will soon become public i'm creating a geo digital platform on nation building where uh, i will address some of the key challenges of skilling research and strategic thought so i'm trying to build a platform where people from all walks of life can contribute there and you can gain knowledge from there share it and do something for the country so rashtra hit sarva priya that is my uh, what should i say guiding light and my principle and india first is always and every time so i think that is how i would like to position it yeah thank you satyam i think uh... what i can make out from this small talk that we are having is you are quite a value driven person right and uh, actually that again in it comes with a cost right and in may we always start you know easier harder rights than easier wrong and i think you have actually used that and abide by that till now right and uh, it's not only a lip service that uh, you are doing you are actually you know doing it and following it in your professional life in your entrepreneurial life and whatever you do and whatever you think i think is all everything is actually being guided by that and life mein kya hota i think if you have got uh, you know simple ethos and principles and you keep following things become easier and you know there is a clarity so that's what uh, you know i have uh, seen in, in, so one in, one one thing i forgot to mention and yeah which you had asked me earlier that what are the capabilities so as a fighter pilot sir you learn to take risk in life so i'll i'll tell you the biggest life of risk of my life that i took besides entrepreneurship was when i handled this kerala floods so that was that was the time my farewell speech was being read in national security council when i got this call from a fellow brave officer who was in the southern naval command and he said that within half an hour we need to move in and we have to make a plan and tell me what to do so i just took out my mobile and saw the contours understood this i asked him sir is rose pushlo he says satyam right now nobody is picking up the call and it's an emergency it was a flood warning had gone up the dam was above you know, the water levels were above the danger mark so it it was not ki acha volleyball nahi khel sakte sir us samay us samay you have to act so i generally look at that and i dictated the entire plan that you know which are the villages how much distance you move them I told them don't use kochi airport they all get flooded how to use telecom data to identify you know pockets of human uh, you know uh, habitation creating whatsapp groups immediately ask for feedback on how pregnant ladies blood sugar cases cardiac cases can be identified you can drop medicines because once the floods come and your mobile task go then you don't know where to do what you're blind so how to use the existing capability around that was available at that time to convert it into actionable solutions so what i'm given to understand is that the entire plan that was given by me was executed over batten and they managed to save uh, a lot of life the the cap, the, the population is 42 lakhs for that uh, district but i don't think so that usme kitne kahan hue mujhe nahi pata but i'm told that the only people who lost lives were the people who refused to evacuate their uh, houses and the decision went to open water and all those kind of so he asked me just one thing that satyam what if it fails so i said that sir uh, this is a personal plan i'm giving you so if it fails i'll stand trial i'll take the responsibility so i think that was the most and trust me sir those seven days were heavy not because of anything but because it's a moral responsibility that you suggested something and how is it impacting people's life because consequences baad mein theek hai i mean what is in destiny you will face it but at that time facing somebody loved ones because you gave a plan that didn't work i think that is a very very big moral dilemma that happens at that moment so i think this is something which is something which was very very it was i think a very time sensitive it was just a matter of 10 minutes of conversation in which you have to 
play the entire plan. Okay. So yeah, Satyam, I think uh, because we also have uh, a lot of transning veterans uh, in the audience. So, uh, you know, can you tell us what roles can actually veterans look into the commercial uh, space industry and uh, what should they do about it? I mean, uh, do you say what actually, you know, transition plan do you suggest to someone, whether from the Army, Navy, or Air Force, if somebody is inclined to what actually you were doing earlier or even doing now, right? So, how, what do you say to those transitioning veterans? How do you go about, how do you prepare yourself, and what can they contribute in this uh, space sector? So, sir, first of all, uh, I would like to start with attitudes. I'm sure this must be repeated in a lot of courses and classes, but you should have the attitude to learn. There's a lot of earning, unlearning that is supposed to be done, and there's a lot of learning that is supposed to happen. Take it with grace. There could be a youngster who's owner of a company and he may be questioning you. Uh, respectful questioning should be acceptable. It's a very powerful word I'm telling you, but uh, in India, we have lost that sense of getting questioned respectfully. So the person asking should also be respectful and the person answering should also be able to take that as a question rather than take it as a integrity or a, you know, how come a junior is questioning. So I think many of the things that we learn as a matter of design by NDA and our training needs to be understood. Second thing is sir, that skill is very important. And I think that people who, uh, whether they are in line to become the chief or not to become the chief, contingency can hit any time. So it is always good to be situationally aware, understand how the world is moving, and upskill yourself. For those who have a flair for programming or who even understand basics, at least focus on AI. That's going to be a huge, huge game changer. In fact, I'm going to be coming out with a lot of programs in coming times on AI, on different dimensions of AI. AI is very important. Spatial understanding is very important. Even if you don't do a GIS course, enough material is available outside. It changes your orientation of how to connect things. Third thing is uh, people who are, say, from signals and all those kind of things, I think for them, data processing and signal processing, those kind of jobs are where a lot of electronics and communication is involved. Generally, they'll find a good way out. But yes, management techniques have to be, or management uh, courses will definitely help. Information security areas, uh, cyber security is, they are good domains and it's not necessary to be a signals officer. I've known enough people who are done BA and they are doing too well outside. It's how much time you spend to read about it, get aware, and how do you convert an opportunity into a gain? I think that matters. Next is ability to write well, good proposals. That's very important. There are a lot of people who don't know how to write good proposals. So focus on writing good proposals. Writing skills are very important. I never had a file coming back in my service career. I can only tell you. In the system, I'm not talking as a procurement man, as an entrepreneur, because there are other overriding issues that uh, govern that. But in terms of writing capabilities, yes, people at the senior level can go for independent directors, and even at a younger level, in case you are capable, especially people who are you know coming out of service slightly earlier, the option of an independent director is good. I've seen a lot of officers doing well in the the funding market, the financing market. There are a lot of funds that are coming into India and they need guidance on ground. I think what is the biggest advantage of service officers is the domain expertise in which they are. So many times we take our domain expertise just by routine, rigmarole. But I feel that you should look that wherever you're working, you should see that how do you actionize this skill or this capability or the exposure that you're getting. Suppose you are in an army headquarters and you're on, on your last leg. Identify area where you would like to go outside, build your skill on it, and then build networks that help you inside when you go outside. Uh, a lot of people in the space industry right now are looking for how to navigate the procurement 
and the say awareness ecosystem to make people aware about their products so i think that is another area i keep getting a lot of requests sir give me a good chat some people will be able to pay you high some people may not be able to compensate you there you can ask for a stake or whatever it is you must be well versed how a company is run if you want to specially get into startup ecosystem so that what is company law how it works what is the concept of stake you should be situationally aware it should not be ki acha usne jitna offer kiya aapne le liya i i you know gone are the days when we were treated as security officers outside i think we uh, that trend is changing and people outside are respecting value if you bring bring value to the table you must read scholarly papers in your domain even if you are just firing at a very firing range understand the science of how a firing range is designed so read scientific papers on that you will come out with something experiment with it read on it so main yahi kahunga sir ki meri life mein jo bhi maine achieve kiya i won't say that i am too successful so there are many more people who are successful but main jidhar bhi gaya tha main uske andar ghus gaya tha immerse yourself in that whatever you want to do it doesn't matter but what you are doing that should be perfect you managing a mess you should be perfect in it you should know all the types of menu kaha kya hota hai rashni kaha se hoti hai supply chain kaise hota how do you cut costs it matters okay so supply chain understanding is very important that is another area i i am definitely coming across a lot of people who are into the supply chain with some of the leading brands but i have seen equally number of many number of officers getting frustrated out of it so people who are looking down to dust job ja rahe hain golf khelna hai unke liye theek hai but the people who are driven with fire they may find it very monotonous so it all depends on sir aapko kidhar ghusna hai and us liye aap apni passion dekho so second career wo cheez karni chahiye jo aapko dil se drive kare it's not necessary to you know just because i want a job and itna pay hona chahiye to main udhar ghus gaya hu because aap wahan chale jaoge agar aapka passion mein nahi hai आपके वैल्यू सिस्टम से मैच नहीं करते आप छह महीने रहोगे सात महीने रहोगे देन यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग यार सत्य में एक नई जॉब ढूंढ दे मेरे लिए मेरे पास ऐसे बहुत लोग आते हैं सर सो so, वो चीज करो सेकंड करियर में और सर जनरली पंद्रह साल की सर्विस तक पता लग जाता है लाइफ किधर जा रही है तब तक सोचना शुरू कर देना चाहिए कि मेरे को अपने आपको किस डायरेक्शन में रिसेटल करना है कैसे करना है मिल गया प्रमोशन या वॉट यू आर लुकिंग फॉर इट इज बोनस कीप योर गन पाउडर रेडी ऑल टाइम्स that is what i was always taught as a fighter pilot keep the tail clear at all times so this is i mean you apply the converse of it that is the way uh, you know you have to think about your have good clarity on issues of finance resource management kaise hota bahar padhte rehna chahiye sir because when you talk to somebody single cv will may not solve the problem mere paas bahut bachche aate like i am into hardcore encryption mere paas सीवी उसको पढ़ के लगेगा कि बस यही गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट है वो तो पंद्रह दिन काम करते हैं फिर बोलते हैं सर कहना है कम बैक आफ्टर टू मंथ्स आई टेक ट्यूशंस नहीं कर पाते काम आई हैव वेस्टेड एट लाख रुपीस लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर ऑन बैड हायरिंग इफ आई आस्क यू इफ आई टेल यू सर टूडे आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द टैलेंट विच आई वॉन्ट दिस सीवियर स्केसिटी ऑफ टैलेंट सम थिंग विच आर नॉट टॉट इन यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड दैट इज वेयर सर्विस ऑफिस कैन प्ले अ मेजर रोल बिकॉज यू हैव दी एडवांटेज दिस मे नॉट बी टॉट इन कॉलेज बट यू आर बाई एक्सपीरियंस यू गॉट इन इट so whatever you getting value it build good icing and cherry around it so that you can market yourself well i think that is how i like to put it across because i mean i do not know the the career profile of officers and all if somebody wants to uh, definitely ask me i'll be most happy to guide them within my limited capacity what i would know but i'll definitely put them on a path which will help them yeah थैंक यू सतीप आई थिंक यू कवर अ लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स जो मुझे समझ आया यू नो कि जो भी काम करो उसमें एक्चुअली घुस जाओ जैसे मूवीज में बोलते हैं ना कि कैरेक्टर के अंदर घुस जाओ राइट सो टोटली इमर्स योर सेल्फ इन टू इट एंड जस्ट सी हाउ थिंग्स कैन इम्प्रूव इफ यू आर ऑल्सो डूइंग द सेम थिंग विद अर्लियर पर्सन वॉज डूइंग इन द सेम वे दैट मीन्स एक्चुअली वी हैव नॉट एडेड एनी वैल्यू टू इट राइट सो हाउ कैन थिंग्स बी डन फास्टर मे बी बेटर मे बी विद लेसर कॉस्ट that is what actually we talk about ki aap kya value leke aate ho and yes you know bahut achhi baat boli sir main aapko yahan par ek cheez bolna chahunga yeah yeah go ahead ki jab koi banda aapko employ karta hai na to har ek aadmi bolta hai ki main aapko kyun lu either you will increase my profit or you will help me cut my losses or you will increase my efficiency or you will 
एड मोर ब्रिक्स टू माई बिजनेस सो दैट आई एम मोर प्रोडक्टिव जनरली कहानी इसी तरीके से होती है या किसी का बिजनेस फेल हो रहा होता है आप उसको कैसे रिवाइव करो जनरली मोटी मोटी कहानी इन चीजों पर ही होती है सर तो आपको खुद देखना है कि मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ अभी जनरली होता है यार तो कहीं भी लगा दे मेरे को यार आई वॉन्ट दिस मच आई शुड बी एल टू प्ले गोल्फ मतलब आप गोल्फ खेलने के लिए बाहर आ रहे हो तो सर मैं वो आंसर नहीं दे पाऊंगा मैंने तो आज तक गोल्फ की स्टिक ही नहीं पकड़ी सर लाइफ में नॉट दैट इट इज बैड आई अप्रिशिएट पीपल हु आर गुड एट इट गोल्फ खेलना है तो फिर उसमें एक्सेल करो फिर टूर्नामेंट जीतो वो करो बिकॉज बाहर की जो लाइफ है स्पेशली अगर आप यंग एज में बाहर आ रहे हो तो यू हैव टू पुट इन एफर्ट्स यू हैव टू रियली पुट इन एफर्ट्स टू सर्वाइव बिकॉज आई मस्ट टेल यू ए आई इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फाइव ईयर्स will reach such a level where normal jobs today will start becoming irrelevant and in a 10 year period the story is very very grim that i can tell you because i am working on ai on certain on a certain program i am trying to come out with a major program on that so because i am now getting deeper insights into ki kidhar panga aane wala so ye main bata sakta hu sir ki aap log padho not necessary to to go out of the country read internally or go to iits if suppose there are many people in delhi walk in make friends there sit with the young boys who are entrepreneurs koi bolta ji main ai mein bahut acha hu identify a problem in forge or public life which is scalable then you tell him kaise tu ye kar sakta hai uske mein relationship bana lo usko programming karne do aap domain expertise leke aao एक पैर पे टेबल खड़ी नहीं होती सर उसके लिए चार पहिए चाहिए होते हैं डिजाइनर जो टेक्नोलॉजी बनाता है वो चाहिए होता है एक फाइनेंस वाला चाहिए होता है एक जो विजन और डोमेन एक्सपर्टीज लेके आता है वो चाहिए होता है और एक मैनेजर चाहिए होता है मिनिमम इतना तो चाहिए होता है एक कंपनी को खड़ा करने के लिए सो यू आइडेंटिफाई होल की मैं किस जगह पे फिट हो रहा कई बंदे बहुत सुपीरियर प्रोग्रामर्स होते हैं और मैनेज भी कर लेते हैं बट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हो तो ठीक रहता है स्टेबिलिटी रहती है दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यस डीप टेक में जो घुस रहा है थोड़ा सा ध्यान से बिकॉज आई कैन टॉक अबाउट क्वांटम इंडिया में अभी ये सेक्टर बहुत ही अंडर डेवलप्ड है आधे लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता तीन घंटे में वो समझ नहीं पाते जो समझते हैं फिर वो कहीं और चले जाते हैं और रिस्क टेकिंग एबिलिटी विद इन द सिस्टम इज वेरी लेस एवरीबडी वॉन्ट द ताजमहल इन वन नाइट इट डज एन हैपन नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन द ताजमहल बट एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स द बेनिफिट ऑफ द ताजमहल सो इट्स अ वेरी डिफरेंट स्टोरी सो स्पेशली जो डीप टेक एरियाज हैं उसमें थोड़ा अगर कैपेबिलिटी बहुत अच्छा है तो पहले मार्केट कहाँ है वो अश्योर हो जाओ तब घुसो उसमें स्पेशली इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग डिफेंस एंड गवर्नमेंट इको सिस्टम बाहर स्केलेबिलिटी करना है तो फैंटेस्टिक इफ यू हैव द गोल्डन की इन योर हैंड गो हैड बट इन यूर डीलिंग विद सरकारी इको सिस्टम्स लाइफ कैन इट कैन मेक यू स्लीपलेस and finance ke understanding pakka rakho sir but hey you may not be a finance guy but you must understand finance and how to rotation of money kaise hota hai ye sari cheeze jo hoti hain bahut important karti hain loan liya hai usko kaise handle karna hai ye kaise karna hai taxation kaise hota hai gst because kya hota hai ki sir kuch log hote hain abhi ek project pakda funding li to generally funding innovation ke liye milti hai अब आपने टेक्नोलॉजी तो बना दी अब उसके बाद आपने एक ऑर्डर लिया अब उस ऑर्डर की कोई वैल्यू है अब उसका कैश फ्लो कैसे मैनेज करोगे तो कैश फ्लो हैंडलिंग इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज जाते ही आपको पहले पी बी जी लग जाएगी आपको जीएसटी देना है वो कुछ एडवांस में चला जाएगा आपका मामला फिर पता लगे कॉम्पोनेंट है वो तो बाहर से आना है अभी सप्लाई चेन शॉर्टेज है तो आपकी सीधा टेन परसेंट उधर ही लग गई तो इस तरीके के जो रिस्क होते हैं उसके कारण आ, इंडिया में अभी एबिलिटी टू रेज कैपिटल और द अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू रेज कैपिटल द कंडीशंस ऑन विच यू आर रेजिंग दोज कैपिटल और बोथ आर वेरी एडवर्स देन एज कंपेयर टू ग्लोबल मार्केट्स दिस अ लॉट ऑफ से कि बैंक्स लोन दे देंगे आप स्टार्टअप हो लोन लेने चले जाओ कोई नहीं देगा आपको बस बिकॉज द क्राइटेरिया ऑन विच दे गिव लोन आर डिजाइन मोर फॉर द रिटेल सेक्टर हर महीने आपकी इतनी एंट्री होनी चाहिए ये होनी चाहिए और अगर आपको लोन मिलेगा तो अठारह उन्नीस बीस चौबीस परसेंट पे देंगे वो मेक्स इट यू नो इनबल टू कंडक्ट बिजनेस सो अभी 
हाँ पहले से सिचुएशन इंप्रूव हुई है मगर क्या वो राम राज्य है अभी नहीं है देर आर माइल्स टू वॉक बिफोर थिंग्स आर रियली स्मूथ एंड आउट सो दैट्स वाई फोकस ऑन फाइनेंस एंड हुल प्रोवाइड यू द रिसोर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो ऑन द ऑन्टरप्रीनियल जर्नी वी कैन टॉक ऑफलाइन ऑन मच मोर डिटेल आस्पेक्ट okay thank you satyam i think uh, a lot of actually takeaways you know starting from that uh, second inning should not be a default it needs to be designed right and it should the planning should start way early aisa nahi ki jab pmr lene ke baad soche ki acha mujhe kya chahiye mujhe kahan jana hai and i can so well relate with uh, the kind of uh, narrative that you are giving ki kafi log approach karte hain aapko you know sahi ki ye cv hai mujhe kahin bhi laga do और इतना पैसा मिलना चाहिए एक्चुअली एक्चुअली इट इट हैपन दैट वे लाइक लॉट ऑफ पीपल बिलीव अस व्हेन वी से जो कि चाहते हैं कि भी अब फौज के बाद में अपना ही कुछ करूंगा या करूंगी राइट right? और maybe there is already someone who are already into their journey they have established some company so uh, with respect to that you know how has been your your experience as an entrepreneur and you know some quick uh, let's say tips of how do you get into this and how do you run your own company sir pehli cheez ki jis cheez mein ghusna wale ho na us par research bahut deep honi chahiye aapko kya प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट है उसकी पूरी क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए माय सजेशन गिवन दी वे आर प्रोक्योरमेंट सिस्टम्स आर गो फॉर थिंग्स विच आर डोल यूज सो दैट सिविल मार्केट में वो पहले अडॉप्ट हो जाए और आपका रेवेन्यू साइकिल शुरू हो जाए फौज जब लेना होगा लेती रहेगी सर अगर आप सीधा फौज के लिए टारगेट कर रहे हो सो यू बेटर है डीप पॉकेट एन अ गॉड वादर टू फंड यू If you're not in that zone, don't attempt it. I'm giving a very straight understanding. बहुत सारी चीजें बोली जाती हैं ये अच्छा हो रहा है वो अच्छा हो रहा है मुद्दा वही आता है फाइनेंस में आगे बात रुकती है या कैश फ्लो पे आगे बात रुकती है और ये जितने IDEX programs वगैरह हैं great initiatives but अगर कोई सोचे कि मैं core technology डेढ़ कोड़ में बना दूँ नहीं बनती सर reality check उसका paper work कितना जबरदस्त है कि उसके लिए एक सेपरेट डायरेक्टर और उसके नीचे स्टाफ बस वो पेपर वर्क ही करता है उसको आप किसी और चीज में यूज नहीं कर पाते सर सो आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट सिस्टम्स हैव नॉट इम्प्रूव यस दे हैव इम्प्रूव फ्रॉम वेयर दे एवर बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रिंग ईज ऑफ बिजनेस इन टू दिस होल थिंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू शुड नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक वॉट इज द स्केल ऑफ यूटिलाइजेशन मार्केट कितना है आपका अगर आप सोच रहे हो कि अच्छा ये माउस है ना मैं बना सकता हूं खरीदेगा कौन कितने प्राइस पे खरीदेगा कब तक खरीदेगा इस प्रोडक्ट का नेक्स्ट कंपटीशन कितने दिन में तैयार हो जाएगा इसका अपग्रेड हो पाएगा कि नहीं हो पाएगा या इट्स वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन लाइफ टाइम प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज द बैरियर टू एंट्री टू मेक दिस प्रोडक्ट दैट यू कैन क्रिएट क्योंकि तो कंपटीशन तो आपने आज सोचा कल को दो लोग और सोच रहे होंगे इसको बनाने में आपने ऐसा बनाया वो उसके ऊपर में चार एंटी ने और लगा देगा जो कि स्पेस से भी कंट्रोल हो जाएगा माउस ह्यूमन इमेजिनेशन कैन गो एनी वेयर सो यू नीड टू बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेयर सिमिलरली हाउ इजी इज इट टू अडॉप्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई मेक सम सुपीरियर प्रोग्राम एंड आई थिंक दैट इट विल कम्प्लीटली ट्रांसफॉर्म द इको What is the ease of adoption for that organization? पता लगा उसको अगर वो सॉफ्टवेयर में ट्रेन करने के लिए उसको हंड्रेड मैन आवर्स लग रहे हैं पर पर्सन वो कभी नहीं करेगा क्योंकि वो बोलेगा मैं अपना जो रूटीन काम है उसको तो नहीं रोक सकता बिकॉज उसको बंदे निकालने पड़ेंगे उसकी कॉस्ट क्या आएगी उसको सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ अडोप्शन द टाइम लाइन ऑफ अडोप्शन दे मैटर एंड उस चीज को अडोप्ट करने से वो क्या चीज खत्म कर रहा है सेम उसको प्रॉफिट ज्यादा हो रहा है या उसकी मैन पावर कम कर रहे हो आप उसकी आप सिक्योरिटी ज्यादा बढ़ा रहे हो या उसकी इंट्रोपरेबिलिटी ज्यादा बढ़ा रहे हो आप किस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व कर रहे हो पहले वो समझना बहुत जरूरी 
और उसके हिसाब से आगे बढ़ना है कि वो कितना स्केलेबल होगा क्या वो दुनिया में आपका कितना मार्केट है क्या एक्सपोर्ट कर पाओगे क्या आप बिकॉज लिमिटेड थॉट के साथ बनाया गया प्रोडक्ट इज सुसाइड कॉमर्शियली हाँ इफ यू हैव द एबिलिटी टू फंड इट एंड यू नो डू इट एम देन मैम टॉकिंग ऑल एन एवरेज आई एम बूट स्टार्ट गए सर मेरा कोई गॉड फादर नहीं था आई वॉक ऑल माई लाइफ ऑन माई ओन so i learned my lessons i was not designed to be an entrepreneur i mean i was i mean mere ghar mein koi businessman nahi tha sir sare warrior the ya farmer the to mujhe ye bhi nahi pata tha ki product banane se pehle company banani padti hai to main to us level se shuru kiya tha so those are very hard lessons i learned that understand the ecosystem where you going to do suppose you are going to a ministry i'm giving a live example you want to go to a ministry and you want to sell a product or this thing first you see whether that ministry itself has the ability to absorb a product or not because most of the ministries are designed to give contracts they don't have systems like forge me ki ha alag se department hai wahan par se analysis hoega phir niklega they are too busy in giving replies to parliamentary questions they are too busy in other rti inquiries rather than take your technology seriously डेटा एंट्री करने को भी तैयार नहीं होते लोग अंदर उसको सिर्फ दो लाइन भरनी है ना डेटा की वो भी नहीं भरेगा वो मैंने तो लाइव भुगत चुका हूँ देख चुका हूँ तो अगर आपको गवर्नमेंट के साथ काम करना है तो पहले आप देख लो कि किस गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट में जा रहे हो वहां पर कुर्सी पे कौन बैठे हैं वेदर दे आर किन कुमार टू अडोप्ट इट और नॉट और उनका बाकी इको कैसा है वन मैन सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर में भी वेरी इंथोजियास्टिक बट द एंटायर इको सिस्टम विल नॉट वॉन्ट अ चेंज so these are critical decisions that you have to take as a businessman then uh, who will write the green sheet for them does the person who is writing the green sheet to make your proposal for adoption in the industry even understand what you are trying to bring to the table who is going to be the user is it going to be the contractors below or it is going to be the ministry itself in what form it is going to get consumed is it going to be linked to their payment ecosystem or not so there are a lot of things that need to be looked at especially when you're getting into the government ecosystem i'm talking on non military government ecosystem people where delivery has to be shown to the pm or where the danda is there ki bhai productivity dikhani hai udhar mein log daud ke aapko bula ke kaam karayenge par jahan standard contract based system hai wahan par ability to matlab the keenness to adopt may have varying levels of motivation i will put it at that then from entrepreneurial perspective human resource kahan se laoge ya to aap khud programmer ho to bahut achhi baat hai agar aap khud programmer nahi hai you're dependent on something you must understand the technology very well otherwise there will be a problem there has to be someone who has to stand and explain all the time do you have that person who can explain your thought into simple language that becomes very important aap सुपीरियर चीज बात करते रहो सर ये इधर से ये फायर करेगा ये करेगा वो उसको सिर्फ समझने है कि आदान प्रदान कैसे होगा विच प्रॉब्लम यू आर सॉल्विंग कितने पैसे लगेंगे बस सो इफ यू आर सॉल्विंग इज प्रॉब्लम इज फाइन सो ट्रांसलेटिंग इंजीनियरिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग इनटू सिंपल लैंग्वेज इज वेरी वेरी आई रियली लाइक द वे यू आंसर एनी क्वेश्चन यू नो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फाउंडेशन लेवल एंड गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिकलिटीज गिव लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स सो दैट इट इज वेरी वेरी रिलेटेबल टू सब बिकॉज़ प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि ये प्रैक्टिकलिटी किताब में नहीं पढ़ाई जाती है और जब आप जमीन में देखते हो तो देन यू आर टेकन अवे यू नो पीपल गेटिंग वन मीटिंग फ्रॉम अ सीनियर पर्सन इन द सिस्टम यू कैन वेट अप टू 1 ईयर 2 ईयर्स और जब आपको वो मीटिंग लगती है वो सुनेगा आपको बहुत अच्छे से और यू आर फैंटास्टिक वी मस्ट सपोर्ट यू आप कमरे से बाहर निकलोगे वही प्रपोजल सेरेटर में जाएगा भले ही आप किसी की पत्ती लगा के आ गए हो मैंने तो और लाइव देखे देखे हैं ना नमूने लाइफ में so this is why the man you are dealing with how motivated is he and is he driven to bring the change in his system or not that matters then uh, char panch rules of engagement matlab consideration bataunga sir and they are self learned pehla jis ministry mein ja rahe ho uske paas jis cheez mein aap kaam kar rahe ho uska coded hai kya usme budget allocation kitna hai jo aapka product hai aur usme synergy hai ki nahi aap leke gaye 5 crore ka product uske aas us coded mein hai hi 50 lakh rupaye to kya kaam dega aapko तो जब आप टेक्नोलॉजी बना रहे हो ना तो किसको देना है कितना देना है ये आपको पहले से ही प्लान करना है कि भाई मेरा प्रोडक्ट कौन 
खरीदेगा कौन कैसे खरीदेगा कब तक खरीदेगा ना ये सवाल स्पेशली जब गवर्नमेंट से डील करते हैं तो ये बहुत क्लियर होना चाहिए कोडेड है कि नहीं बजट है कि नहीं है द पीपल वो सिटिंग इन द चेयर फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग आर दे हैव दे एक्चुअली सैंक्शन बजट इन द पास्ट और नॉट व्हाट इज द ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड प्लीज फाइंड आउट देन हाउ मच इज द मनी लेफ्ट फॉर दैट ईयर आपने बहुत सुपीरियर प्रेजेंटेशन दिया आपने सब ने आईडिया आपने दे दिया वहां जाके वो पता लगा यार आई वांट टू हेल्प यू ना बट टुडे देयर इज नो बजट यार आई एम सॉरी यार यू कम नेक्स्ट ईयर तब तक वो बंदा चेंज हो गया आपका आईडिया भी बाहर गया आपने टाइम भी वेस्ट किया बैंगलोर से उड़ के आए चार लोग सूट शर्ट पहन के पचास लाख पचास हजार रुपए उधर खर्च कर दिया आपने और हाथ में कुछ नहीं आया आपके तो क्या फायदा हुआ उसका तो इसी में ना हम लोग रिसर्च ड्रिवन बिजनेस करना शुरू करना चाहिए कंपेरिजन करने चाहिए ये गया था इसका हुआ इसने इस इस मिनिस्ट्री में काम किया यहाँ पर किया इसको ये फायदा हुआ या नहीं हुआ उसकी कंपनी की परफॉर्मेंस सब बोलते हैं आप बड़ी भी गोइंग फैंटेस्टिक उसकी शीट्स तो अलग बता रही है ये सब का एनालिसिस करके तब सिस्टम में घुसो बिकॉज एवरीबडी लाइक्स टू टेल अ फैंटेस्टिक स्टोरी रियालिटीज आर डिफरेंट जस्ट बिकॉज यू गॉट अ मीटिंग जस्ट बिकॉज समबडी इज आश यू टू डू अ पी ओ सी जस्ट बिकॉज समबडी सेट दैट येस वी विल डू इट इज नॉट अ श्योरिटी अनलेस एंड एंटिल यू आर द पी ओ इन हैंड दैट इज द ओनली श्योरिटी एंड इन सम केसेज दैट पी ओ ऑल्सो कैन बी हडेस्ट बिकॉज सम राइवल विल कम सो यू हैव टू ऑल्सो लुक एट वेन यू टॉक ऑफ सिचुएशन अवेयरनेस इन बिजनेस यू शुड ऑल्सो लुक एट हुआ दीपल विल कम इन पंचर यू so do you have safeguards to that or not okay thank you i think people who are listening and especially i think for me ye ye to almost one week ka entrepreneurship class you have actually given in that uh, you know 10 minutes <laughs> i'm coming up with something sir uh, yeah, okay. let my platform be ready yes uh, it has a think tank role it has a consultancy role it has a training role so anybody who you feel can contribute even a lady wife who is very good in maths but because of kids she cannot do anything she can also earn money and fame from there and similarly uh, it will open a huge opportunity for uh, service officers to be subject matter experts in engaging with various academia research institutions and government so it's a fully integrated ecosystem that i'm building another one or two months uh, my plat the first versions of my platform should be ready so it will be completely automated no human intervention so no no gunjal oh great to know that and wish you all the yes. best for that yeah Thank so you. let's uh, come towards the almost the end of uh, our discussion and this will be my final question to you uh, there are so many fellow veterans who are actually making a transition so if you want to share a quick you know maybe three action points especially to those who want to move into the space defense or the uh you know aerospace sector so what will be those you know three quick action points specifically targeted to those kind of transition veterans so sabse pehle to skill and experience in that domain matters sir hum log ke paas skill bahut hai jo hum seekhte hain on the fly right wo bahut important hai kai log aise hote hain sir jo kursi pe aake baith jate hain to unko lagta hai unko sab kuch aata hai main unki baat nahi kar raha bahut bada differentiation hai sir ye chair doesn't teach you give you all the gyan it may give you knowledge of transactions at that time but that doesn't mean that it has given you the skill of the sector that's very important to understand so understand how the ecosystem working and thereafter pick up something where you want to work on i have already given enough uh, gyan on how it should be handled skill yourself get the right certifications depending on what is your aspiration now you want to go at a certain level jahan par आप नेट पे रिसर्च करो कि किस लेवल के सीवीज एक्सेप्ट होते हैं उस बंदे ने क्या क्या कर रखा है सो यू नो कि अच्छा अगर इस पोजीशन के लिए मैं एस्पायर कर रहा हूँ तो उसके लिए ये ये सर्टिफिकेशन चाहिए या ये ये क्वालिफिकेशन चाहिए सो डू यू हैव दैट एंड द अर्लियर इन सर्विस यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट बाई ट्वेंटी टू गो टूडे यंगस्टर्स आर स्मार्ट दे गेट टू नो अर्ली की भाई ट्वेंटी पे थम्बा सो so, पहले से स्टार्ट करो उसको बिल्ड करो एनकरेज योर वाइफ टू be financially independent become a dig double income group so that even after retire 20 years even you have to take a one year or two year sabbatical the family can sustain itself i practical things bata raha hu so main high flying things nahi bata raha hu but how to manage things in real life that i'll tell you i'm a more practical person realist optimist pra- <laughs> next important to build networks networks work whether it is in the foggy ecosystem or outside ecosystem research draw your flow chart jaise 
माइंड मैप बनाते हैं ना सर मेरे को इधर पहुंचना है तो उसके लिए ये करना है ये करना है तो उसमें ह्यूमन रिसोर्स को क्या डील करना है लिंक है ये बहुत सारे टोटल्स हैं आजकल रिसर्च करो नेट पे जाओ कौन से बंदा किस कंपनी में बैठा है आपको एक आइडिया बनेगा सर तो एक चार्ट बनाओ कि मुझे इधर इधर टारगेट करना है उसके लिए ये ये इको सिस्टम ट्रिगर करना पड़ेगा कनेक्ट विद पीपल राइट वॉट ओवर योर यू नो गेटिंग ब्लाइंड डिग्रीज डजन हेल्प वॉट पीपल सीज यू नो लॉड ऑफ एम बी एस राइट I did this. I handled this desk job at this job. Rather than saying that, okay, while being in chair, I solved this problem and this was the impact. That is what is understood by people outside. So you have to be impact driven. For example, I handled a budget of ten thousand crores and I brought two thousand crores or so many percent of savings. Yet I improved my efficiency by so and so. It has to be quantifiable so that the other person can understand. The gyan bhi hai aur usne demonstrate kiya. Otherwise, most CVs are demonstrated ability to do this, 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 this. But where is the demonstration? Where is the impact? Is it calculatable? So I think that is something which you should be focusing on. Because when you give five points where you have shown an impact, and आजकल सब cross check करते हैं सर. मेरे को बहुत phone आते हैं. अच्छा यार ये बंदा कैसा है? ऐसा temperament कैसा है? ये कैसा है? सुना है थोड़ा कीड़ा है. But can he be handled? तो वो महीने के कम से कम तीस चालीस फोन से ऐसे ही आते हैं सर और अच्छे अच्छे बड़े लोगों से आते हैं सो आई विल नेवर कमेंट ऑन द पर्सनल साइड आई जस्ट गिव अ वेरी न्यूट्रल व्यू बिकॉज वेदर आई लाइक देम और आई डोंट लाइक देम किसी का करियर नहीं खराब करना किसी की रोटी पर लाद नहीं मारनी चाहिए इतना मेरा एक उसूल रहा है तो वो जरूर मैं मेनटेन रखता हूँ बट येस एंड दीज आर द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कन्वर्ट यू कैन टॉक अ लॉक लॉट बट इफ यू कैनॉट कन्वर्ट it's something like going for a mission you are the best bomb and the best aeroplane in the world but at that time you didn't press the trigger the bomb didn't hit so what is the value of that mission theek hai na sir and uh, communication skills if there are lot of people who are introvert by design or there are some people who talk too much by design so you need a moderation and because in industry mein ek bar baat karo to ghum phir ke aa jati hai sir and clean image rakhna bahut zaruri hai people remember and the moment you come out आपको कुर्सी पे सलाम मिलता रहेगा पर जैसे ही आप बाहर आओगे फिर कंट्रोल वाल डेल भी हो जाओगे आप ये चीज ध्यान रखना सर वैल्यू सिस्टम को लोग अप्रिशिएट करते हैं थैंक यू फॉर दोस यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट टेक अवे दैट यू टॉक अबाउट आई मीन यू नो डिसाइड वेर यू वॉन्ट टू गो राइट मेक अ प्लान माइंड मैप बनाओ डिसीजन ट्री बनाओ सी वॉट विल वर्क वॉट विल नॉट वर्क वॉट इज दी स्किल गैप वॉट एक्चुअली कोर्सेस यू शुड टेक and whom do you want to network with that is a very important you know network is network or network is what actually works yeah outside world may be utna important hai because uh, what i believe is nobody will actually take you just on the capability and the competency they want to have that trust level also which uh, you know satyam also said ki value based hai ki nahi hai business is only about trust yes that is the only thing i'll give you an example i wanted an hr I did forty-five interviews over one and a half years, and then I hired the right person. She's a service officer's wife, but that much I waited. Okay, that reminds me of I think what Richard Branson said. That said, if you don't find your employee good, you know, fire them immediately. But when you look for a good employer, you can wait. I mean, sir, life me kya chahiye na? Pehle to wo decide karna bahut zaruri hai, sir. Sure. Ab shaam ko har din squat lagani hai, karni hai. Fir other one year route thoda sa difficult hai. इस एज में आपको बहुत क्लियर होना चाहिए कि मेरे को चाहिए क्या सारा कुछ उधर से है और मतलब मेरी इतनी मन पहले आप खुद ही डिसाइड कर लो कि मुझे इतने चाहिए इतने पैसे हैं काफी हैं इतने पेंशन से आ रहे हैं यहाँ से आ रहे हैं यहाँ से आ रहे हैं ठीक है कईयों को ये होता है कि भाई मैं जा रहा हूँ बाहर बच्चे पढ़ रहे हैं मैं उतना नहीं कर सकता मजबूरियां सबकी होती हैं सर तो आपको उसी हिसाब से अपना मिशन प्लान डिसाइड करना है ना वॉट इम्पैक्ट जैसे होता है ना इन इफेक्ट बेस्ड ऑपरेशन सीखते थे ना हम तो ये भी वही है सर पर यहाँ पर बस टेम्पलेट बदल गई है और सिविल लाइफ इज वॉर स्पेशली फॉर एन ऑन्टरप्रन्योर इट्स अ डेली वॉर बिकॉज एन आई टेल यू हाउ फौज में आप काम करो ना करो तनख्वाह जरूर मिल जाएगी आपको फौज हो चाहे सरकार हो आपकी बॉस है तो तो मैं हो गई ठीक है डाउनग्रेड यू वट एवर इट इज बट यू विल गेट योर पे इन टाइम नो बडी कैन डिनाई यू लीव हाँ चुलबुल होती है थोड़ी बट continuity of life secure life doesn't stop but in business outside you can be fired in one minute
इफ यू डोंट डिलीवर ये चीज बहुत समझना है दूसरा एज एन ऑन्थरप्रन यूर यू आर ऑलवेज ऐसे एक सीओ होता है ना यूनिट का जब तक कि सारी गाड़ियां इन नहीं हो गई सारे बंदे नहीं सो गए सारे बंदे बैरक में नहीं आ गए तब तक उसका दिमाग चलता रहता है तो ऑन्थरप्रन इज समिंग लाइक दैट ओनली सर पता लगा आपने बंदे को ट्रायल्स के लिए भेजा वो दारू पी के पहुंच गया वहां पे फॉर नो राइम और रीजन आई हैव डेल्ट विद दैट सिचुएशन वो पूरा शुरू कर मतलब फोकस था टेक्नोलॉजी पे यहां पर डिसिप्लिन एंड यू नो रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट में बात आ गई तो वेरिएबल्स बहुत हो सकते हैं सर आप पता लगा आपने किसी के लिए डेमो के लिए प्लान किया उसी दिन बिल्डिंग का पूरा बिजली उड़ गया कर लो एंड दैट इज अ मेक और मेक ब्रीफिंग फॉर यू या टू शो योर प्रोडक्ट हो फ्यूज उड़ गया उसका होता है सर पर यहाँ पर क्या होता है सेकंड चांसेस बहुत मुश्किल से मिलते हैं तो इसलिए कंटिजेंसी प्लानिंग ना बहुत फील्ड लेवल पे जाके करनी पड़ती है यू हैव टू कीप योर पीपल हैप्पी बट दे आर डिमांडिंग एवरीबडी विल थ्रेटन यू कि भाई मेरा तो यहाँ पर अभी मिल रहा है आज मेरा उधर हो गया आज मेरे को उसने बुलाया है सो so, इसीलिए चूज योर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स विच विल स्टे विथ यून योर आर ऑफ क्राइसिस आई हैल्सो सीन क्राइसिस एंड देर टाइम्स दैट आई टोल्ड दैन दैट यू नो because i never accepted any other than my pay checks i have never taken ever any even uh, even for meetings i have carried my own water bottle sometimes i can tell you that level of proprietary i maintained so there were times when i had to take my team into confidence here i'll pay you half in the middle of the month and when people see you honest they will support you okay thank you uh, wing commander satyam uh, kuswa for you know sparing your valuable time and hamare se itna lamba baatchit karne ke liye i think uh, we could actually go on and for on for so long but you know i'm sure there are a lot of people actually want to ask you some specific questions i'm open to that sir yeah so uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, you know coming here and sharing those candid and practical right on ground experience that you had both the simple language mein aapne bataya you know starting from nda to air force to entrepreneurship and uh, various tenures that you had and what challenges you faced and what actually made you stand up once again when you whenever you of uh, you know you know got through some obstacle or even whenever, whenever you fell down so uh, quite a relatable quite an inspiring story i must say and uh, wish you all the best thank you and, uh, on behalf of the value talks i'd like to thank you once again for being here and also thank you to almost 50 of the audience who had been listening to us patiently you got to focus on yourself on your faith on your dreams on your mind